Right here, I'm just going to run you through three basic um, rigs that I use. This one I use for bottom bouncing. Now, yeah, what we do is you grab your line, okay, fold it into a sort of U shape, holding it together. Now, what you're basically doing is the beginning of a shoelace knot. So, you know, around the fingers, tuck it in once, and then what I do is just tuck it around the second time, giving it a pull. And there you go, there's your knot there. Okay, now we're grabbing that end, should look like that. So we're grabbing that. Okay, we're going to bend that line together, slide it through your sinker. Okay, then we're going to grab that again, putting your sinker through there, giving that a pull. And that's the first bit of your dropper. Then what we do is we come up about 10 15 centimetres from the sinker. Okay, do the same thing again, round once, through, twice through, giving it a pull, and just pull the bottom of it to make it go tight, and we come up again about 10 centimetres from that last one, and do it again, okay, one, two, give that a pull, Okay, that's a bit shorter, obviously, normally you make them a lot longer. Okay, there's that first one there. So what we do is we grab a hook. So there's your hook there. What we do is we grab that end of that line there, we pinch it together to fit through the eye of the hook. Then we're going to pull through. Okay, then that line's open, you put the hook through there. Give it a pull. And bang, and there's your first hook. There's your first hook, and there's your sinker. Obviously, you cut off the excess with your knots, okay? And then back up to the top one where you put another hook on. There's your two hooks, and that's ready to go. Now, that's uh, you know, they're quite safe. I've never had them pull or anything unless I've been a bit slack on my knots and that, but um, that's probably the best, fastest, and easiest one to do for your bottom bouncing. Right, yeah, this next rig would have to be one of my favourite rigs. Um, I use this for snapper, bonito, pretty much anything, even for bottom bouncing. Um, it's just a single hook rig. What I do is I cut off about 30 centimetres of line, I get a swivel, I then place my line through the swivel, like so. I stick my finger in between there, and I just give it a twist anywhere up to five knots, five twists is fine. I then place the end of that line back through that hole, giving it a pull. Okay, making sure that that's all tight now. So I just slide that knot up with my thumb. You can see that. Okay, and what I do is your 30 centimeters worth of line. I then just grab a hook. Okay, there's your hook, put my hook on, same deal as I did with that, I'm turn the hook like so, there you go, grabbing the line, placing it back through the first loop, giving it a pull, pulling it tight, sliding it up, there you go. Now obviously you give all these knots, um, you, give them, you wet them a little bit so they won't slide, okay, then you just cut the excess off, bang, and there you have it. Then at the end of that you've got your swivel, here we go, again just cut the excess off, okay, then what I normally do is put a sinker above that on the other line, so that'll run up and down to there, so if the fish grabs hold of it, they're not going to feel, feel any weight. And that one there, it had to be my favourite. Rig of all, nice, fast and easy to do and very reliable. Okay, this is a rig that I use for bigger baits and sometimes liveys. Um, it's got two hooks. So what you do is grab your first hook. Okay, what we do is put your line through, bring it back down along the shaft of the hook, grabbing that long piece of line and twisting it around the shaft of the hook 
around five times. You can do more if you like. I wouldn't do any less than five. Okay, grabbing that main line again, placing it through the eye of the hook, like so, giving it a pull. Okay, and then it'll look like that. Okay, then we grab the second hook. The second hook we do the same, we place it on there like so. Okay, now depends what size bait you're going to have. I mean, some people you can do them as a, a smaller gang hook or whatever, but normally I like to have one hook bigger than the other. Okay, so, so we're using a good size fillet, coming about that far. What we do is, again, just grab your line, twist around the shaft of the hook, one, two, three, four, five, nice and tight, grabbing that line, going back underneath the eye of the hook, giving it a pull, bang, cutting the excess off, grab your clippers, give that a chop, oops, giving that a chop, and there you have it, that's the perfect outfit for a nice chunk of fillet of um, bonito, yellow tail, whatever you like, or you can eat, normally I'll put a squid head on the top one here and a tentacle down there so it sits in the water nice and fine. And then what I do is with the end bit, I just put a swivel on it with a running sink or whatever size sink you want, you're ready to go. So there's the three main rigs that I use, they're all very easy to use, you don't have to be no rocket scientist, so I hope this helps.